The choice is, like all of my novels, it's a love story that is set in North Carolina. It tells the story uh, about two people who meet each other and realize that, that there's something between them. But, of course, after that, everything is different because... I, I try to keep my stories as varied as possible. And I guess if you really want to know what it's about, it's in many ways similar to my first novel, The Notebook, in both structure and format, in that it tells the story of how a couple gets together and then let's, and they fall in love, but it's framed by a section that asks the the reader what true love really means what does it mean to not only fall in love but to be in love to respect the wishes of another to have your love remain true through the challenges of life do i have a recipe of true love i would think that um you know, there's difference. You have the novel kind, then you have my own, then you have the personal kind. I assume you're talking about the novel. Um, in some ways, yeah, I, I kind of know the, the tricks of the trade uh, when it comes to writing novels like these. You know, they're, they're basically the Greek tragedies redone over and over, the plays by Euripides and Sophocles. And so if you know the history of the genre, you kind of know how to uh, how to make the characters come alive and how to evoke genuine emotion oh in real life like I've been married for 20 years I was fortunate in that I married my best friend and we've remained best friends you know ever since you know 20 years now we have five children and uh, I consider myself lucky every single day you know I'm often asked what the real secret of, of you know a happy marriage or true love is and it's very simple the, the re- it's really simple Choose well in the first place. <laughs> pick the right person. If you pick the right person, you can get through anything. If you get sidetracked by other things, you know, head emotions and things like that, you can sometimes run into trouble. But if you pick the right person for you, usually all will be well. It's a little bit of both. I think in the novels you have the, the novelesque quality to the stories and that there should be an interesting way for the characters to come together to, to meet for the very first time. But after that, um, your goal as a, or my goal as an author is to evoke genuine emotion. You should feel the movement of the characters as they proceed through the relationship. You shouldn't just, I shouldn't just tell you this. You should actually feel it. And that's, therein lies the challenge of writing novels like these. So it's a little bit of both. It's, it's meant to be obviously because I'm making up the story but at the same time um, even though you know this you should still be able to feel the genuine movement all the way through the story of the way these two characters connect befriend each other and finally fall in love Fate is not necessarily the the basic concept of my novels. It's certainly an it plays more of an element at times than others, in depending on the particular story. And in the lucky one, it is much more fate driven than, for instance, the choice, which is more of a, a function of they happen to be neighbors type thing. So, so it really depends on the story and. There are times when it can uh, seem make the story seem a bit more magical, which is what I wanted in this particular novel. Once I had the story, I had to find the characters, and Travis is very much like my brother. He was very much like, actually, my brother before my brother got married. Uh, just fun on the weekends. Life was just one big, great thing to do whenever you weren't working. Um, and uh, Gabby, on the other hand, Gabby was inspired by a former assistant of mine, um, and she's very much like my former assistant. So you, you kind of mix and match. And, of course, they become their own people, too. My brother, for instance, was not a veterinarian. So there are some changes as well. But as far as the quirks of their personality, yeah, they were driven by two people that I knew. The lucky one is 
It, it's a great novel. I mean, it's one that I'm very proud of. It's a novel that uh, it's a story about a soldier. He's he's in he's in Kuwait. This is before the invasion of Iraq. He finds a photograph of an American woman half buried in the sand, obviously dropped by a serviceman or woman. Um, throughout his time in Iraq, he begins to view this photograph as his lucky charm, that thing that keeps him from harm. And once his service is up, he goes to find this woman because he feels he owes her his life. And from there, of course, the story evolves. But it was a, it's a great story. As I said, Warner Brothers has already optioned the rights, and they hopefully will start filming uh, summer of uh, 2009. So that's the plan for them to start filming. And I'm excited about it, too. Yes, I you know I like the the film version of Knights and Rodanthe. I I, had, I got to see it a lot of times because I went on tour for the movie. It was a great film in that it uh, the the performances were really strong. The the director had a real clear vision for what he wanted to do, and the story was very similar to the story that I wrote. So it didn't deviate too far from the novel at all. So I was very happy with the film, and of course it ended up doing very well in the cinemas and the theaters. Uh, so even worldwide, it's done very well. So that bodes well for future novels because it did so well. I have three more that should be filming within the next, you know, uh, eight months or so, three more films. As a general rule, I don't adapt screenplays from my novels. However, uh, I did do it for one of the next projects. Um, I was thinking of a story for my next novel. Um, this is not the lucky one, which is already completed. The lucky one will be filmed by Warner Brothers. Dear John is being filmed by Sony, but Disney wanted to do a film as well uh, with Miley Cyrus, and she always she stars as Hannah Montana in the United States, and she wanted to be in one of my stories, essentially not Hannah Montana, but Miley Cyrus. They asked her what kind of film she wanted to that she wanted to do. She loves a walk to remember, and she said that's what I'd like to do. So Disney got in contact with me. So they asked me to write the screenplay for that, and uh, now that I've concluded with the screenplay, I will go ahead and write the novel. <laughs> 